It was bound to happen. The freight train of Disney Interactive's mashup of successful iOS franchises with their own properties has run into a bit of a snag. Where previous titles managed to blend its inspirations up and come out with something new, Monsters Inc. Run opts to simply balance the freemium auto runner to create something more akin to what the first title should have been like. As such, the best moments of this title match those of Mega Run by Get Set Games without much innovation. Indeed, everything to be found within Monsters Inc. Run merely reskins the game you may already know and love, albeit in the developer's pitch perfect cartoonish style. So, where does the entry fee come in? Interestingly, your money goes towards redressing the coin-earning capacity of Mike and Sully, the monstrous duo of the hit Disney film, ensuring that the player has more than enough in their coffers to pay for the upgrades as they unlock. New characters will cost a bit more, but it's nothing you won't earn by smashing through the game's copious amount of stages. For those who missed it the first time around, your goal is to simply finish the small stage set before you. However, the catch comes in several forms. Firstly, you can't stop the momentum of Mike or Sully outside of smashing into walls, and even then, Sully will simply smash through them. There are plenty of monsters trying to stop you from reaching Boo, and the levels themselves are packed full of tiny platforms and gaping chasms for you to plummet down. By collecting power-ups and making use of the cleverly implemented double jump system, players can only jump twice once they've hit a monster or power-up, you'll eventually make it to the end, with replays helping to boost the coins you've earned and possibly collect Boo's lost toys. Monsters Inc. Run doesn't innovate so much as it keeps the status quo, and if you were put off by Mega Run in its original incarnation, you may find it worthwhile diving into this release instead. For fans of the original, you should already know if you enjoyed your time with the game, and whether it's worth going through the effort all over again. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.